gratuitous plug for where I buy most of my uh, building supplies. It's a little backwards, um, but that's not what I'm talking about this morning. It just happens to be where I'm at. Um, sitting in a parking lot of the ReStore, where I also buy stuff. Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle, all that. Friend of the earth. Whatever. Uh, it's cheaper, and it works. That's really what I care about. Um, I'm having a rough day. Actually, I'm having a really, really rough day today. Some days are good. Some days are simply you wake up and you're everything's spectacular. And then there's days like today when you wake up and, well, everything's not. And um, I, I miss people that I care about, people that I'm concerned about, people that I, I, I love deeply. Um, and uh, for whatever reasons, they're not in my life right now. Um, and it, I woke up just feeling it this morning. Now, I got up and uh, pulled myself out of bed. Um, I don't know if I'm depressed. A uh, doctor said I will never know if I'm depressed like anybody else because my ADHD won't let me act like anybody else. A lot of people get depressed. They can't get out of bed. <laughs> I could never stay in bed. I was just like, okay, got to get moving. Um, but... I get moving and I go upstairs and my employee's up there and uh, talk to Will for a bit. He doesn't know anything's wrong. Uh, I had to go talk to one of my tenants. They don't know anything's wrong. Um, I'm going to go into Richie's. They're not going to know anything's wrong. Um, but something is wrong deeply inside my heart. It's, it's hurting. And I'm not saying this for sympathy. Um, I'm making a point and, and I'm getting there. Um, there is a proverb that says a man of many counselors will come to ruin. And sometimes when we put our hearts on our sleeve for everybody to see, we get so much counsel. Um, and a lot of that counsel becomes conflicting and some of that counsel isn't good. And some of that counsel is actually, um, and I have received it myself, very, very ungodly bad advice. Sounds good. Sounds nice. Sounds affirming. But at the end of the day, it's leading me away from God. It's not leading me to God. So when I seek counsel for my brokenness, I'm not going to go to somebody that is only going to break me more. And I mean, they may have the best of intentions, but if, if the person you're getting your input from is not walking in wisdom, is not walking in the spirit, is not living in submission and obedience to God, is not studying God's word, then um, the advice that they give is not necessarily going to be godly. You know, God can use them for sure, but God also says that we are supposed to be wise and we are supposed to guard our hearts and let's let the peace of Christ guard our hearts and minds. And where do I get the peace of Christ? I get the peace of Christ from good counsel. I get the peace of Christ from God's word. My sister Martha, um, she, I mean, she takes no prisoners. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's awesome. But she will say, this is what the word of God says. And Tim, um, this is what you need to remember. And this is the truth. And sometimes the truth is hard to swallow. I'm having a bad day. And She's reminding me of the goodness of God and what God promises me, and I need it. And I go to her because I know she's going to give me the truth, even though it's going to hurt. Charlie Thompson, another guy. Ray Palmer, another guy. Dave Hallahan, another guy. And I could go through the list of people that I have used as counsel in my life. I could also go through a list of people who have counseled me in my life that as soon as they start giving me advice, I kind of shut down or, or put the filters up. Why? Because I'm not sure where they're coming from. I'm having a bad day. I'll have a good day another day. I mean, that's fine. I mean, even finish the day having a good day. I don't know. Right now, things are difficult. If I'm going to get counsel, I want to make sure that that counsel is coming from God. Now, if you're hearing this and you're concerned for me, pray for me. Pray for my loved ones. If you know the story, you know how to pray. Um, but... It's going to be okay because God is good all the time. And God is with me, even in my brokenness. Actually, sometimes it's in my brokenness that I feel his presence most deeply. So hope that's been an encouragement to you. God bless you. Bye for now.